What did Bridgecom send me? <laughs> Skybridge, baby. I've been waiting for this. Wanted to try this out. Uh, they say it cross bands. Does all the uh, all the cool stuff that the open spot does. So I figured let's give this one a shot. Okay, kids. Hey, it's a sky bridge. Normally don't do unboxings. This just came. The, uh, ah, got a book. Nice packaging here. Raspberry Pi type device. Car charger, house charger. Little uh, mini antenna, ethernet cable. And USB. Looky like ah, it's an external battery. Very very cool. So you can take this thing on the road. Let's do this. All right, guys. Uh, welcome back to the show. Good to be back in the saddle here doing a ham radio thing, uh, just kind of straight ham radio. But I do it for the benefit of those of you who want to get on to the Southern Idaho Command, especially for our uh, Saturday morning nets. If you're into preparedness at all, if you're thinking about it, Southern Idaho Preparedness Net may be for you. You need to check that out. Um, you could check it out here live Saturday mornings, 9 a.m. Mountain Time. If you uh, if you have Wires X, if you have access to Wires X or YSF, uh, you could get on the Idaho Command. Uh, that is uh, Reflector 40448, the Idaho Command. You could type that in and do it like that. Today, we are doing a little hot spot kind of a thing. And uh, the nice folks over at Bridgecom sent me this to do a review. This is the Bridgecom Skybridge. It's a hotspot. It's a Pi Star based hotspot. First of all, I want to say, over the years, I have fallen in love and out of love with DMR radios as a whole. I started my journey with cheap little DMR radios like this uh, BFDX. This is a 440 only. It works pretty good. The problem with it is, despite that it has uh, a keypad on here without a code plug, these things are freaking worthless. When I heard that uh, this Skybridge did multi-modes, and did it what they said very well. I was curious. I wanted to see this thing for myself. Not as much for the DMR function because I'm not a DMR power user. I'm a fusion power user now. Used to be a D star power user. I still do all three modes. And it would be really, really nice to be able to have one hotspot here in Studio A that I can just grab a radio and pick it up and use it. And I think something like that would be really, really fun for you too. Looking at this thing, hey, standard Pi Star configuration on uh, one side, USB C plus two HDMI output ports. And I believe that is an audio output port. Could be an audio in. Uh, other side of this thing, standard uh, USB-A connections and one Ethernet connection over here. On the top of it, look in there, and it's an SMA connector. What goes in the SMA connector an antenna. We're going to plug it in. There you go. It's initializing. Now, I've already set this one up, but I'm going to kind of walk you through setting this thing up. If you look up here uh, where I'm clicking, 
DMR net and YSF net. It, the mode status is set up for YSF and DMR. So we do have somebody talking uh, right now. WA1YKB. And we can actually listen to him on the uh, 878. It doesn't matter what radio you have. This is transmitting to both of them at the same time. When you fire this up for the very first time, you're going to get a screen that looks similar to this. Uh, you're going to have to hit this admin back here and then configuration up in the uh, right hand page. You'll also see that you've got all these uh, select an admin page in the center. Either one will work. Uh, they do different things. My node call sign K6UDA, my DMR ID from radioid.net uh, is 1106626. This is going to be a simplex node. I'm leaving the frequency 44655. It's set up for the Skybridge, MMDVM, the baud rate, America, Denver, uh, Mountain Time. 24-hour clock is what I want. So we need to enter the right latitude and longitude in here. I'll use Ham Square on my phone to pull up my, uh, my current lat and long. 42 dot my QRZ page so it'll send people screaming over to QRZ to go look me up. I have mine configured for YSF mode and DMR mode. I'm not doing cross moding right now, but it does do cross moding. Uh, my Yesu system fusion configuration, I've got it uh, set up here to go to YSF 40448, that is the Idaho command. Wires X pass through, don't know exactly what a wires X pass through is, but we don't need a wires X pass through because we've already got one. Let's see, I've got my Wi Fi set up i can reconfigure the wi-fi uh i've got it set up to my uh my wi-fi router so that always comes on remote access password and and we're gonna say apply changes let's go back to our dashboard and uh you're gonna notice the ysf and dmr lights are now coming on turning green going from red to green. Two ways we could see this, if you look at the bottom of your screen right now, on my trusty uh, FT5. We'll do this one first. On the FT5 here, you could see I have entered in my hotspot information. So I have that entered in as a memory. And K6 UDA. And K6 UDA. Testing uh, the Testing, Skybridge uh, hotspot. All right, you could hear that going over my repeater that was going out through the sky bridge into uh, the Idaho command YSF, which is then bridged over to the Idaho command wires X comes out over the uh, my FTM 400 over here, which is just hooked up RF to the uh, repeater out in Studio B. Simple. And if I wanted to uh, jump in here to on DMR, I key that up and you'll notice it's keyed up on DMR down here at the bottom. Okay, 6 uda on uh, 3100. Anybody around for a very quick uh, demo? K6UDA, Whiskey Delta 6, Fox Carlisle Country. Real good, Sean. Thanks for coming back uh, to the call. Actually doing a little DMR video right now, and uh, you're in it. <laughs> so uh, I just wanted to uh, thank you for uh, helping me out here. No problem. I'm on an R Finder M6. Just got one of the new speaker mics here. And you just heard this fire up. Down here, you just saw it 
fire up K6UDA on a YSF. That, my friends, is what I really enjoy about this. I don't have to reconfigure anything. I love my open spot for so many reasons. But one of the things that I can't do with the open spot is just grab a radio when it's on and transmit and have it go to the right mode, have it do what I want it to do. Now, with the sky bridge on, I'm able to uh, grab my Yesu radio, go to YSF, go to anywhere I want in the YSF world. And with the other hand, I could pick up my DMR radio, whether it is uh, another Anytone radio. This thing, my friends, is my absolute workhorse. This goes where I don't take other radios. All right, now, for some 100% transparency, Bridgecom sent me this SkyBridge uh, to, uh, to do a review. No, uh, no strings attached. This came not without a couple of hiccups. And I'll tell you about those hiccups uh, briefly. And then we'll kind of dive into really the beautiful thing about Bridgecom that I found out firsthand. When I first set up the SkyBridge, I did it just like this. And it worked fantastic on YSF. I couldn't, for the life of me, get my DMR radio, my 878, which was the only one that I had programmed at the time, that I had programmed for that frequency. I could not get this 878 to transmit. It just didn't trigger the, uh, the sky bridge. The long story short, Bridgecom got on the phone with me. They got on a uh, an app that they have, and they were able to go into my computer and into my SkyBridge here, and they had me do some testing while we were right there online. Either the SkyBridge is off or your radio is off. Why don't you do us a favor and pack them both up? send them to us. We'll test everything. We'll figure out what's going on. A couple of days later, uh, this all came back to me. In the meantime, I was super impressed with the way Bridgecom was able to kind of pretty much diagnose what was going on. Guys, it has been over 10 minutes now, and you know I like to keep these videos about 10 minutes because short attention span theater. Stick around for part two. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit more about what the SkyBridge actually does. More importantly, we're gonna talk to the people over at Bridgecom because I think that story is really neat. Uh, very, very cool, and how they're helping brand new hams get the most out of ham radio. We'll see you next time when we do uh, part two. Oh yeah, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please hit the subscribe, the bell notification, all that good stuff. Think about supporting me with a uh, channel membership. Catch me on Saturday mornings when we do the Southern Idaho Preparedness Net. I'll catch you guys later. I'm Bob K6UDA. I'm out of here. 7-3. Later.